this is the aftermath of the flood. That's my manager right there. Because everybody should have a manager like, like that come out and help you clean up. So we got the pump ready to go here in the basement. What do we got? About three feet of water, two feet of water. Slippery here. Some neighbors across the street. McMaster River. So I'll do a quick run through the house. This is the kitchen. You can see you can see the layer of mud left behind. Didn't get too high in here, just enough to uh, ruin the floors. There's the dining room, and the floors. Floors are heaving a little bit here. You can see the seams separating. Not too bad in here. Got carpet wet, but we actually made out pretty good in this room. Carpet's going to have to come up. Here's a little family room. A little fuel oil over there. Quite a bit of fuel oil, actually. It seems to be evaporating in the main hallway. So that's that's about the extent of it. Warning from Jenny. No shoes allowed up there. I like that scum line around the edge of the house. Got uh, Grace here with a beer, so I'm going to take a break. So when disaster strikes, there's uh, never any shortage of uh, news. This is uh, Fox News interviewing my neighbors trying to ask them how they feel as if uh, nobody in the planet would know what it's like to have your house go underwater. So I'm sure uh, she's peppering them with all sorts of uh, stupid questions about uh, the flood. But it's fun to watch. So this is how news is made right here. Well, it looks like we have a cable crew over here in front of the flood. Hi there. Hi. Hi, YNN crew. I just wanted, just wanted to get a video of you know the way news is made. This is how it works. This is great. I saw, I, I saw the van. It's really cool. You got some nice equipment in there. So what are you looking? You looking for some looters? That's what we did our story on. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but people don't loot in a we go. Well, we were hearing reports that people were. No, no. Everybody knows that we own guns. Oh. Uh, how many places have you been around? Uh... Um, I was in Johnson City last week and Binghamton, but we've covered Owego, Binghamton, Johnson City, Vestal, uh, Sayer, Athens, okay. so all over. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, I think uh, you know as far as flood victims go, we kind of judge our status by the size of the pile in front of our house. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. See, as you can see, my pile right over there is really really not that big yeah. and John John right here you're in front of my, my neighbor John Mastretta you know he doesn't have too much either uh -huh. oh and there's there's Len hey Len did you get wiped out yeah I saw it over there you guys took a lot of water Len owns the uh, the place down on Elm Street you might want to do a story on it because he gives away he gives away thousands of bedroom sets uh, my coworker did a story with you uh, the, the other day on for kids. Oh, okay. So you've already been in the news. Yes. Yeah. You, you meet, you media slut. Yeah. Len, Len's a great guy. He, uh, you know, he's probably given more beds to more people free of charge, and we appreciate it. And if you need any help, give me a call. I'll go over there. And we'll okay. Help. Well, I thank you very much. It was, uh, it was a nice little insight to you know the way news is made, and you're the technical staff, aren't you? <laughs> Well, you're, you're doing a great job, Thanks. but uh, you know, all in all, we're having a pretty good time out here. You know, and this is the beds for kids place. Uh, the guy that runs it, Leonard, bought the uh, the old middle school from Owego for a hundred thousand dollars. Got this whole school, hundred thousand dollars. I guess he thought it was a steal at the time, but uh, as you can see, his entire inventory is out front. This is the bed, Beds for Kids uh, pile. 
nice pile of mattresses. Uh, no kids are going to be sleeping in those. Well, the good news is, is all the bed bugs are probably dead. Well, if you're going to live in a floodplain, uh, and every town that is on a floodplain has a sign similar to this. So, uh, there's our uh, 2006 flood level. The 100 year flood elevation, which I don't know. I think the 2006 flood was, uh, was a 100 year flood. But anyway, the water from this, uh, from this flood was five feet over that 100, 100 year flood level. I'm over at Stackmore. I find myself uh, strangely attracted to this company and their products. I love their chairs. They make uh, collapsible uh, folding tables as well. And it looks like they took it pretty hard. This is their warehouse. They might have some stock up above the water line that's salvageable. The stuff underneath is not. Hey, there's my neighbor John Jantz. He's cleaning out all his stuff here. Hi. Did you take a little water? Living the dream, baby. Oh, yeah, it looks like you are. Or the nightmare. So how you been? Fantastic. Yeah, it could little, be better, right? A little damp, but... Yeah, it's so right. actually, you know, house is looking good. Give you the tour downstairs, All right, yeah, let's go. Got a fan running, too? Oh, we got a fan. You got electricity? Yeah. How'd that happen? Huh? Hey, we're, all, <laughs> we're all inspected. Oh, super. Yeah, a couple days for me yet. Come on, Kelly, let's go down. Come on, Cal. Go ahead, you can do it. There's Kelly, the wonder puppy. Alright, let's go see what John's got going on down here. Oh, this looks wonderful. Got the brooder lights on. Ah. Oh, wow, new panel. Let's see. There you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. You do that yourself? Wow. All the breakers. Oh, okay. I, I, I put in a new panel. Okay, yeah, that looks great. Water heater's okay or no? Uh, water heater is scrap iron. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and there's, there's Harrison. Hi, Harrison. No, yeah, not much. So We're is just... the uh, furnace. Oh, this this actually looks really clean. This isn't bad. It's not that damp either. No, we're getting there. Now. You're drying out nicely, John. You got a kerosene heater cooking. This is. I love your foundation. Is in great shape. How come my house isn't this nice, John? Come on. <laughs> this is this is great. You guys, you guys took nothing. I mean, as far as flood victims go. You are not a flood victim. This is just slight remodeling. Is what do you think about floods? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't like them personally because there's sewage water around, which is doo-doo and -doo water that smells like fish, and I've got it all over me. The dry floods are good. They bring nutrients to the soil down to the floodplain. There's the crew picking up my garbage. Well, today's garbage. There'll be more. A lot of things happening today. We've got the electrical guys out here. Matt Cow, they're very nice. Came out here really quick. I'm in the kitchen. You can see we've cleaned it up a bit. A couple patches of linoleum missing. Flooring guys wanted samples, see what was going on. There's my emergency battery. Been using that to power the internet modem. And, uh,. The Wi-Fi upstairs. I am so glad I built that thing. That's the best little device I ever put together in my life. It's been a godsend. Here's the stove. I turned the gas on. Power company came, turned it back off. So I went out there and turned it back on. I'm heating up some water. That's for my bath. It's been three days, so I got, I've got to clean up and wash again. Well, I got all cleaned up. Um, haven't shaved in about a week. Uh, I'm not going to until the house is put back together. But uh, going to go out and get some essential goods and supplies. Uh, shot of the living room. It's probably the best room in the house at the moment. Uh, see what's uh, going on here. What during the flood this was delivered. Um, fortunately, Jenny bought that. If I had, she would have called me some sort of pervert. But I do like the Gladiator girl. She's got some um, nice perky breasts and a good butt. 
and she's hanging on to a, a bicycle there so I'm glad she got that I, I kinda like that uh, nice piece of artwork and we got the fireplace going of course we're stealing power for the fan from the neighbors the cleanup continues this is one week more than a week past uh, past the flood about a week since the waters receded and uh, boy there's just a lot of industry going on here and these people got hit pretty hard down here but just think of all the business that's going on this is this is really good economic uh, activity here in uh, an Obama economy. So uh, it's I guess what the country gets to look forward to is natural disasters to really spur things along. So there's my Matco guy. I guess he's over here at Home Central, which is a lo the local hardware store at the end of my street. It used to be the Endicott Johnson shoe factory way back when. But uh, I need to stop and get some batteries, keep the flip video going, believe it or not. I think I know where they're at. You don't mind if I film in your store, do you? Why are you filming in our store? I'm just documenting my flood adventure. Oh, well. This is some of the helpful staff at Home Central, and your name is? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> she's going to be anonymous. Oh, hi. Hey, how's it going? That's that's my neighbor Jude right there. <laughs> Hi, we're all like homeless getting here. getting supplies from Home supplies Central. How's it going over there? My, I got a crew in there taking out the walls. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah. they picked up a lot of your garbage. If you're gonna put more out there, I I'm bet. I'm putting more out there. I hate to do it, but I have yeah, to I know. dump it right on the grass. Well, I'm just here for some batteries for oh. the flip video, so I can keep documenting. And she doesn't want to be. She's all look at that, all nervous like that. Okay, good luck. See the batteries right over here. Maybe, uh, well, we'll go get a four pack of double A's. That'll do it. Walk over here to the checkout register. Hi, how you doing? Having fun? Yeah. What's your name? Ann. Hey, hi, Ann. How much is it? $3.24. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me get. You know what? I might not even have any cash. I do. I have cash. That's amazing. Here's a five. Five dollars. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is Scott Smith and Sons. Further down the street on my quest for essential goods and supplies. Scott Smith and Sons specializes in, uh, I guess, uh, fossil fuel products and coffee. So I guess those two go together. Now, I called earlier to have some oil cleanup stuff. Right here. Oh, oh that's it. Document her. No, don't document me. I don't like my. Document. This is the friendly staff at Scott Smith and Sons because we're only we're only having uh, local uh, contractors and businesses participate in the reconstruction of our house, and that's the oil cleanup stuff. And I'm giving it to you for ten dollars each instead of twelve fifty. Oh, look at that! You are such a doll. Okay, walking back home. Got all my goods. And uh, we've got a bunch of throughway trucks here. Hi there. Hey, you with the throughway? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming to Owego and helping clean up my town. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And you wasted your own Saturday. That's that's got to hurt a little, but uh, we really do appreciate it very much. Yeah, You're doing a great job. Thanks. This is Armstrong Street, or Armstrong Place. Definitely one of the hardest hit areas in Owego. I don't know if you can see that high water line, but uh, they took it almost all the way to their second floor. Got a brand new electrical panel. Let's see if we can open that up. Look at that. Boy, that's nice. They did a really good job here on this panel. Put in a an extra outlet for me right there and uh, there's the fuel oil tank still got some pieces of insulation down here gotta clean all that crap up they're hauling this thing out soon here's the uh, here's the sub panel I think it's got more circuits in it than the main panel 
but uh, we got power on now. Things are looking up.